Hello and welcome to FSC TV. I'm Andrew Pauling. And I'm Jillian Kurtz. Let's get right to the news. Florida Southern is hosting a career and internship exposition at the Honeyman Pavilion this afternoon. Students will be able to connect with employers as well as have the opportunity to fill out applications for internships and full and part-time positions. This will also be a passport credit. SEDEC will be holding a meeting from 8 to 9 p.m. tonight in the Fannin Center. The group describes themselves as, quote, a social justice ministry that is committed to increasing awareness of societal issues, end quote. During this meeting, they will cover topics like human trafficking, child labor, mental health, and more. A U.S. District Court judge dismissed a lawsuit trying to stop the movement of a Confederate monument currently in Lakeland's Mon Park, according to the Lakeland Ledger. Confederate rights groups sued the city of Lakeland after the city commission voted to use up to $225,000 in revenue from red light camera citations. The group claims that using those funds to move the statue one mile to Veterans Memorial Park violates the First and Fourteenth Amendments. The leaders of several U.S. intelligence agencies have informed the Senate Intelligence Committee that North Korea is unlikely to dismantle its nuclear weapons and that the Islamic State remains a threat to the United States. This is a direct contradiction to what President Trump had said earlier this month when he made the U.S.-Mexican border the primary concern for national security. Plans for a follow-up meeting between Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un are reportedly underway, but little has been decided on as far as the logistics of the meeting. Today's weather is a high of 58 and a low of 43. Expect mostly cloudy skies and a 10% chance of rain. And that's your news for Wednesday, January 30th. I'm Jillian Kurtz. And I'm Andrew Pauling, and we'll see you back tomorrow.